Breaking news now. And just the news editor-in-chief, John Solomon, reporting President Trump has declassified major Obamagate documents. Uh, the president's sweeping order includes everything from dossier author, former MI6 agent Christopher Steele, and debriefing reports from Stephen Hopper's role as FBI spy. The documents are expected to be released to the public as early as tomorrow or perhaps Monday. Joining us now is John Solomon, and he is also a great American and best-selling author. Good to have you with us, John. I want to turn to what we just reported here about 10 yeah. minutes ago, and that is that there is evidence that a uh, left-wing activist was, in point of fact, uh, an agitator uh, in that, in that uh, mob that assailed the Capitol. I understand that you have reporting on this as well. Uh, tell us what That's you right. will, please. Yes, there is a new F FBI affidavit filed in court today in which an FBI agent says John Sullivan of Utah, a, a liberal anarchist, liberal activist, uh, was participating in the rally. He has been out there saying, listen, I was filming it as a journalist. I was there inside the Capitol as a journalist. The FBI says that is not true. He was participating in the uh, acts, according to the FBI. He was encouraging people to light things on fire. He was encouraging people to take things. And the FBI recommends in their affidavit that he be charged with federal crimes. This is the first known person that the FBI has confirmed a liberal activist, not a Trump mm -hmm. activist, a liberal activist engaged in criminality inside the Capitol as part of last Wednesday's riots. Uh, a video of Sullivan uh, operating uh, and also uh, re capsulizing uh, his role in some braggadocio about how effective he was as a provocateur. Uh, that video I know is on a number of sites, yours, it's on Gateway Pundit, I want to give them credit, it was the first that I saw. Uh, this is, it is chilling to see what was going on. Uh, it is also very clear that we're going to have to wait some time before we uh, should be making a headlong rush into a conclusion about that mob because there are other videos out as well uh, that, uh, and you're reporting on this as well. I mean, we were watching Capitol Police open up stanchions and gates and fences that uh, permitted mobs into mobs. They, yeah. they were, at that point, uh, private citizens, it seemed, on their way to, uh, to look at the Capitol. Uh, that turned into an outright vicious riot. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's turn to the issue at hand, and that is uh, the most important uh, matter, I think, here tonight, and that is the president uh, declassifying uh, these documents on Obamagate. The spying, uh, conspiracy, and plot, and the and the uh, actual uh, effort to overthrow this president uh, is a result. We now know that there are documents that exist that support the president, and and make liars out of so many who claimed that there was no spying, uh, there was no effort uh, to do exactly what they did. You are 100% right. I, I can confirm. We were talking last night. Will the president deliver on this? One of the last remaining promises he has delivered in a big way, more than a foot high stack of documents he has authorized, released by the FBI and the Justice Department. These are the things that the FBI has tried to keep from the public for four years. They have amazing big picture revelations. And let's start with, I think, the most important one. Christopher Steele and his debriefings with the FBI after he was fired for leaking, he told the FBI, the reason I leaked is because I needed to help Hillary Clinton cover up her email problem, so I leaked to turn the attention to Donald Trump. The Russia collusion narrative was invented to protect Hillary Clinton from ongoing revelations about her email scandal. It was a political dirty trick, and that was Christopher Steele's own words. People tomorrow, I believe, will get to see his words. I've been reporting on this privately. I haven't seen the declassified documents yet. Yep. But um, I'm telling you that my reporting, I know that's in the document. Similarly, Stefan Halper, the other informant, I mean, he's the guy that recorded Papadopoulos and, and Carter Page. Right. It, in his tasking orders, when the FBI is tasking him, my sources tell me from weeks and months of reporting on this, that he was told to spy on the Trump campaign. In fact, he was given a cover. Try to pretend you, you might want to get involved and get hired by the Trump campaign and then start talking to people and pump them from information. In anyone's book, 
that is spying. Remember James Comey said it wasn't spying. The Democrats called it it wasn't spying. This document, when it's released tomorrow or Monday, will blow out of the water any idea other than the FBI was spying on the Trump campaign. As early as August 16, the word Trump campaign was all over the FBI documents. Uh, this is appalling. Uh, it, it's disgusting. Even as the Democrats have rushed into a, 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 another farce of a, an impeachment, uh, we're watching their first, which already has fallen apart. Uh, but now we know the criminal acts of a number of federal federal uh, officers, whether they're in the State Department, whether they're in the FBI, whether they were working with uh, the FBI. Uh, this is this is explosive stuff, uh, yeah. and while they are attacking the president once again, they will have to be defending their own wretched corruption. Do you agree to write? I agree, and I'll tell you something that is going to become clear in these documents: the continuity and the connectivity between the Russia collusion false story that was planted in America for three years and the subsequent impeachment of the president in the beginning of 2020, enormous connectivity. In Christopher Steele's debriefing, he acknowledges that he got his primary subsource, the main guy who gave him all the bogus information, who later disowns it. When they go to the subsource, he disowns what most of what's attributed to him in Steele's report. A star impeachment witness that the Democrats paraded around on camera was the person that connected Christopher Steele to that bogus witness or to that, that witness who gave bogus information. That is going to be uh, to see the continuity that really Russia, then Ukraine, and then whatever else happened, it's all interconnected. It's the same players time and again. And when we were having the proceedings, we were kept in the dark. We didn't know that witness had this connection to Christopher Steele. Important information about to be made public thanks to the president and his declassification decision. Absolutely. And history, uh, as the radical Dems uh, wanted it to be written, uh, even by their fellow travelers, uh, it has just it has just exploded. Uh, it, the truth is about to be presented to the American people, and when it is, is true. Uh, there will be quite a different view uh, of a number of uh, number of actors uh, who who worked against the interest of the nation and this president for over four years. John Solomon, we look forward uh, to seeing you again soon, hopefully tomorrow evening, uh, with more on the revelations on Obamagate, uh, as the president has has uh, declassified those documents.